In Lagos, the Office of the Education Quality Assurance has released additional guidelines that must be followed for safe reopening of schools to take place in the state. Abim Bolag Bibi reports. The doubts about the possibility of schools reopening for graduating students to write examinations in Algeria have finally been lifted. Approval has been granted by the federal government and students now have two weeks to prepare for the West African Examinations Council, which has been rescheduled to commence on the 17th of August. Guidelines have been set and schools are already warming up for this reopening. But there are concerns as to whether these guidelines will be adhered to. The Lagos Education Quality Assurance Unit is already addressing these issues. Additional guidelines have been released by the agency that must be followed by schools for safe reopening to take place. The guidelines include a fumigation of all schools. So we're looking at the environment, we're looking at the classroom sizes, we're looking at the measurements of the classrooms, being able to maintain social distancing in schools while students are there. We know that for SS3, uh, especially when we have a lot of students in classes, this means that they will essentially have the entire school available to be able to practice social distancing. So uh, the first step of that process is the guidelines. Second uh, would be training. We want to make sure that every, every single uh, school administrator and a school owner, the management staff, complete a training and that training will be on our website tomorrow uh, on the 30th of July 2020. The agency says its enforcement team will be out to sanction schools that do not comply with these directives. They'll have to have a plan for uh, COVID-19. So if there is a case of COVID-19 on a school premises, they need to tell us how they intend uh, to, to follow up with that. And that includes knowledge of the local isolation centers that are near the school um, and, and, and so forth. Again, we are giving this information. We've, we've gone through that heavy lifting and we are also giving templates on how they can go about doing this. So far, more than 15 private schools have been sealed by the agency for defying the state government's directive on school closure in the past month. Now that the federal government has given approval for secondary schools to reopen from the 4th of August for exit classes, school owners and administrators have been advised to comply with the additional guidelines released by the Office of the Lagos Quality Education Assurance or risk being sanctioned. Abimbola Agbebi, TVC News, Lagos.